when we're away, <laughs> you you were very easy to go into an American accent like that. Very yes. very like trying to get us into a into a bar which was closed, <laughs> which didn't which didn't really work. <laughs> Yeah, I was pretending to be a publicist. I was like, you don't understand. Like these guys, you have to let them in. <laughs> you want them in here, believe me. You've you've literally mastered the the accent by watching Friends. I remember you saying that. So obviously, you watched thousands of hours worth of Friends for research. Obviously, um, <laughs> when you watched the reunion last year, what did you think of that? It was funny because I kind of initially when I'd heard the reunion, I'm sure like most people, I kind of thought, yay, it's going to be another episode sort of actual episode. Obviously on hearing it was them talking about the show and how it was made, I was kind of intrigued. So I feel like on that side of it, it really delivered because it was actually really interesting to see them talk about the whole process in terms of how their lives are changing things. And obviously, because I was quite young when Friends came out, I didn't, I wasn't aware of like the Rolling Stones covers and all the stuff that had really happened at the time. For me, I just came into it later. It was already an established show. Do you know what I really upset me about the reunion is that none of them could remember Mr. Heckle's name. How many times have you done that? Someone get, like someone's talking to you about a character, and you think, I have no idea who that character is, and then you remember that you know their actual name. Yeah, that, I, yeah. Name? I've definitely done that kind of with um, with a couple of your co-stars, I think. Where like I've met them and thought I've worked with them and then realised that I haven't. I'm just a big pop fan and I was like, oh, they were very polite about it. <laughs> I think it was actually at the BAFTAs. Yeah, I was like, oh, dude, so good to see you again. He's like, oh, so nice to see you too. And then I was sat there staring at his face for like half an hour and I was like, oh no, <laughs> we've actually never met. <laughs> but bless him, he pretended. <laughs> well, I was going to ask about your your Remy Malik story, but we'll leave that one, shall we? Well, I'll, I'll tell it for you. Yeah, I um was at a Golden Globes event with Remy Malik, and bearing in mind my co-star had already, already offended him because she, uh, she'd got him mixed up because obviously they're twins, he, he and his brother, and one of them had a moustache that evening and one didn't, but I think she was a little tipsy and couldn't tell them apart. So she'd already made a bad impress- impression on the Outlander front, and then I go up and I'm like, oh, Remy, mate, it's so good to see you. I was like, I just want to say, like, you're really good in iRobot and Pacific Rim. And he's like, do you mean Mr. Rome the Pacific? I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work. At least, at least he wasn't just like going through the motions of just like, yeah, how you doing? He was, he was actually listening to what you were saying. Yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> he did have the the manners oh, to correct me exactly. <laughs> <laughs>